Hello, welcome to another episode of FMOD in 2 Minutes, the series for beginners in game audio implementation. Today I'm going to be talking about a few different ways that you can implement snapshots. We've talked about snapshots and a couple examples on scenarios and when you might need to use them, and now I'm going to talk about how you actually use them to communicate with a game engine. So if we open up our mixer and the snapshot menu, you can remember we've got this pause menu snapshot that filters and ducks some volume um, when it's played. Now, you can simply script this as an event instance inside the game engine code, in which case you would only need the name of the snapshot. In some cases, a developer might ask you for the GUID, but usually just the path and what the name is is enough. And in a, a very simple event instance script, something that I will link in the description below as well, uh, you can call on this snapshot to be played and stopped uh, whenever you need. There's also another way of doing this by adding it to an event itself in a way that we can control ourselves without bothering a programmer um, in order to script it. So here's an instance. I have, remember this uh, music from Celeste, which I'm just using completely out of context, just as an example. And I can imagine this is gameplay music. And let's set up the scenario that when the menu plays or the menu is opened, there is a menu music playing. but I want this music to play and filter out the gameplay music so it can be heard. So what we're going to do is right click, add a snapshot instrument, and here you will have a list of all the snapshots you've created. Click on pause menu because that's what we want. And I'll just drag it out to the length of the loop. And now let me just simulate this scenario for you. If I play the gameplay music, and then Imagine we've just opened the menu. The music on top plays and the snapshot underneath ensures that everything else is filtered. So every time the menu music is played, the snapshot underneath is also played at the same time. Again, another really quick idea on how you can use it. Hopefully this inspires you to use it in many more different scenarios that you come across.